Camels have been with us from the earliest of times and have been domesticated into the human world as soon as we saw these guys. From being used as labor animals to being used as simple means of transportation, these guys have got it all that makes them so useful and helpful to the human world. They're still being used today in many parts of the world. In today's episode, we'll be taking a good look at what makes the camel stand out from the rest of the herd of animals. Sit back, relax, and enjoy the video as we dive in. Welcome to Animals Wow TV. Let's get started. After spending 390 days or 13 months in the womb of its mother, the camel is born into this world as fragile as a pane of glass. The baby is born and is not able to walk for about 30 or so minutes. During this time, it's extremely vulnerable to predators that are seeking an easy meal. Plus the fact that the mother does not rejoin the herd along with the baby for about two weeks. Unless of course, like this fella, they're brought up in an enclosure. There are many sorts of different looking camels on the earth. Some have long hair, some have shorter hair, some are skinny and some look like they weigh as much as a ton. But in reality, it only boils down to the humps of these guys. As you might have seen, some have two rather than one. Those are classified as Bactrian camels, which can be found in a variety of environments from Afghanistan to China, particularly in the Mongolian steppes and Gobi Desert. The other more common type is the dromedary camels with singular humps, which are situated all around the globe, but more concentrated in the Middle East. As I mentioned before, camels have been used for transportation since mankind has started to record history. Camels, sometimes known as desert ships, have been used to transport commodities across deserts for thousands of years. Camels are the only desert animals capable of transporting huge burdens and traveling for lengthy periods of time without food or water. Camels have two hoofed toes on each foot, which are connected by a leathery pad. To keep their feet from sinking into the sand, camels stretch their toes as much as possible when walking. Camels can go without water for up to 15 days. Their humps are one of the reasons they've been able to live for so long. To clear up any misconceptions regarding camels, they store fat rather than water in their humps, which has become a hoax in many erroneous legends, and they can use this to go longer without water. So after food, they like to have water, yeah? So they can drink 120 liters of water. In just one sitting, they're known to gulp down 200 liters of water. For comparison, elephants can drink 100 liters of water. Although mainly used for labor and transportation purposes, camel meat is also widely consumed throughout the globe, especially in the Middle East and Saudi Arabia, where it's a traditional practice. Camel meat is also high in vitamins, particularly the B complex, as well as vital minerals like iron, calcium, and phosphorus. Camel meat also has a low cholesterol content, 61 milligrams to be exact, when compared to other farm animals such as beef, with 75 to 86 milligrams, making it a healthy human meal. Being desert animals, you might think that camels don't really have enough vegetation to go around with in the wild, right? Well, you'd be surprised to know that eating cactus for camels is like an everyday thing for them. Cactus may be eaten by camels. Papillae are the cells that coat the inside of their lips. When they consume the cactus, the papillae protect them from injury by allowing food to travel in one way, directly to the stomach. Here's a fun fact about these camels. Did you know they can crossbreed with llamas? When they do, they produce what's called a kama. Brilliant name if you think about it. They would never do it in the wild, but commas are a product of artificial insemination. On January 14, 1998, the first comma was born. The goal was to create an animal that could produce more wool than a llama while still having the size and power of a camel and a cooperative demeanor. Yup, that is a weird thing to look at. Have you ever seen an animal be so gross and throw out its stomach like this? Well, 
well, contradicting popular beliefs that is not actually its stomach. When a male dromedary camel is in a rut, he possesses an organ in his neck called a dulla, which is a big inflated sack that he extrudes from his mouth to demonstrate authority and attract females. It seems like it has a large bloated pink tongue protruding from the side of its mouth. So the next time you see a camel do this in front of you, just know that he's in the mood for love, trying to breathe, and not trying to scare anyone away. If you still think that camels are not well equipped for the dry desert environment, well, I'd think again if I were you. Camels have three eyelids. Not one, not two, but three. The translucent covering known as the nictitating membrane keeps sand and dust out and can even improve eyesight, similar to a contact lens. Third eyelids are found in many species, including dogs, cats, sharks, and several birds and amphibians. These operate as windshield wipers for the camel's eyes, removing dust and allowing them to see more clearly during sandstorms. Camels have a lot of importance when it comes to religious activities. The most notably open one being the sacrificing of these animals during the time of Eid, according to Islamic practices. Camel meat is considered halal by Muslims, meaning it's permissible to consume it and before every Eid. A large market is established where people who are willing to buy these camels negotiate their prices from stockmen and stock women who have brought them up just for this moment. Because camels are tall, when they die in the desert, numerous germs in their bodies grow uncontrollably, and after reproduction, they convert into a foul gas that is highly unpleasant. The inside structure of the camel's body has been entirely destroyed by microbial breakdown leaving only a few skeletons and diverse microbes, and the tremendous air pressure is on the point of collapsing. If a small amount of external force is applied at this point, the distended camel will instantly burst, causing significant harm to the environment. So, the next time you come across a dead camel in the desert, be sure to keep your distance from it, or you are in for a world of hurt. Boom. See, we've started tearing at the back end. All right, that's it for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed what you saw. Do smash that like button if this video was to your liking. Comment down below what you love the most about camels and why. Subscribe to our channel if this is the sort of video that you like to watch. See you in the next video. Thanks for watching and take care.